on. And today I'm going to show you a really cool LED mod you can do to your smart car by hooking into the brake lights of all things. Hooking into the brake lights is going to give you some really interesting added functionality out of it that will make it really unique. Luckily, this mod is very cheap to do and requires very few parts. Just some of your time and elbow grease. Well, this mod requires, as you see, very few parts. Uh, obviously not pictured here. Uh, we're going to drill a hole, so we'll need a drill with a quarter inch bit. And if you'd like to solder, you can get a soldering iron if you have one. Or you can use uh, little tubes that I'll show you later on that you can use with a crimp tool. These little LED holders you can get from Radio Shack. They're a quarter inch and they hold LEDs. And these little things here also we got from Radio Shack. All this is very, very cheap on the order of cents. This is an LED. You can buy these online for like 10 cents a pop, 10 to 30 cents depending on the color of the bulb. Just make sure you get the ones with the integrated resistor. If you can see there, there's a little bump in the wire where the resistor is. And obviously some extra wire that you'll need because there's not, this is not going to be enough wire for you. So the first step to putting your custom LEDs in is to take out the rear light panel and in your smart car is conveniently located behind your seats. You just take this little compartment off and you'll see there's a little padding back here. And your manual will tell you, smart car manual tells you how to do all this for changing your brake lights basically. And here you'll see behind this padding is the assembly, the wiring. And what will happen is there's a little, if you can see, a little lever in here that you just push up and then you pull the assembly out. Very simple. To test if this bulb works, all you need to do is take this light out by rotate, pushing it in, rotating it, taking it out. And you'll see the two contacts where these metals go together. Turn the lights on for the car. And just run these two contacts and you'll see that the LED turns on correctly. Now in this LED this red and black stripe one goes in the top contact point and the solid red one goes in the bottom. Running through these connections you can see that this connects to the first and second wires in this harness the black and white stripe and the brown one. So the black and white stripe connection is where the red stripe wire connected on our LED. So basically what we're going to do is splice these two wires, drill a hole in here to mount the LED, and run this wire through the back of this panel into here and connect it. Now you can see here I kind of extended these wires out, but to splice them, we're going to use one of these things here see that correctly that you can get from uh, Radio Shack for practically nothing and basically how this works is you take two ends of the wire put it in the two metal holes then you take your wire and you splice it and put it in here I'll show you an example of it in action here how we have this wire cut we already cut the um, black and white striped wire and splice it in there and I just wrapped a little duct tape around it I'm probably going to protect the rest of it with duct tape as well then all you need to do is use your uh, handy little crimp tool and crimp it down and it is secure now we have the whole assembly right. connected together see the LED there my extension because the wires that came with it weren't long enough and the connection into the tail light assembly there and we will test to make sure that this works And voila, one purple LED and tail light on at the same time. Now, since it's daylight out, it's kind of hard to tell how bright this actually will be at night when we have our lights on. So I recommend before finalizing all this, all of this together and putting this, you know, drilling a hole in here, putting the wire in the paneling and everything, 
to really test this out at night first just to make sure that really what you want you know and test the placement in different areas because different areas can create different shades and interesting effects around the car see here we drilled a quarter inch hole and we have these little LED holders that you can get from Radio Shack that are also a quarter inch and they hold any five or three or eight millimeter LEDs and basically you're going to want to put this in the hole so you have something to secure LED to and you just run these wires from your LED down through here and it'll come behind the paneling down here you may have to reach your hand up in here and pull it down. Now the passenger side is significantly more tricky because only part of the panel comes out. So I had a crazy idea and I put this solder wire, I fed it up through this hole here and kind of caught it with my hand through here. And what I did is I put the LED in here, fished this wire out and tied them together. And the hopes is that I can just pull these through this hole and get the wire to come out here and all I have to do is get a wire from here to here at this point. One trick is to make sure though that your wire from the LED is coming out from the right side of the seatbelt or it's going to chafe against the seatbelt. 